following this today for us. Scotland Yard leading this operation out of the capital. Just tell us what's been happening. Absolutely. So Scotland Yard are working hand in hand with West, West Midlands Police to search this garden in Shipton Road in Sutton Coalfield. Now, as you already said there, this is the prime suspect's mother's old house. Now, she hasn't lived in the property there for 26 years. But they're currently digging up a garage in the garden, which they suspect could hold the remains of Susie's body. Now, I'll give you a bit of back history about uh, Susie. She went missing. She was an estate agent and went missing 32 years ago. She had said that she was going to meet a Mr Kipper. It was written in a notebook on July 28th on Charles Road. Eyewitnesses saw her arguing with a man outside that property in Fulham and she was never seen again. Her white Ford Fiesta was found a mile and a half away from the scene. Now, she was officially declared dead back in 1994, presumed to be murdered. John Cannon was named as the only suspect in this case in 2002. A year after Susie had gone missing, he actually ended up killing a woman, Shirley Black, in Bristol. Her body was found six months after. He denied killing her as well at the time, and he has denied killing Susie up to this day. However, he was known to be in the area. He also does look like the e-fit of Mr Kipper, which the eyewitnesses suggested that uh, had been around since her disappearance in 1986. And he was believed to be in the area at the time. Now, they are looking at this house at the moment, and this was uh, Sheila Cannon's house, so John's mother. They. Um, she, as I said earlier, she hasn't been there for 26 years, but the forensic teams are currently there. And uh, Philip Carey is now the owner. He's owned this property since buying it off Sheila. He has said that the police have been there to search before. He spoke earlier. The police are phenomenal in what they are doing and finding in the resource and how they find stuff out. It's just um, what comes with it is just quite bizarre. It gives you closure for the for the for the, the the tragedy that's gone on for 30 years, and thankfully the story has come to an end. Um, if nothing's found, we're out of the process completely. We're eliminated. So again, for moving forward, if something's found, it shouldn't make a difference to us at all. But it is a very very strange place to be um, with this particular situation. Philip Carey there, the man who now owns this property. So Alex, what might we see happen next? So what's happening is we've seen by the forensic tents that have been put up outside. They are looking at the area where the garage was. What they think was under there was a mechanical carpet which has been filled in with concrete and a garage built on top. So it's that they're looking through. So it's going to take a while to get through. Already there's a skip filled with masonry from the concrete from the garage at the moment. But they'll be using a ground penetrating radar to see underneath the garage to see if there's anything and to identify areas where a body could be. Now, Susie's parents, unfortunately, have passed on without knowing whatever happened to Susie. But her brother today did say that they hope that they find a body because they'd just like to put his sister to rest. Yeah, bringing all of this to an end for, for that family.